Hi, everybody. It's time for your Wyoming News and Agriculture. The 2017 meeting of the legislature of the state of Wyoming is on now. It's the general session this year, and the Wyoming Farm Bureau Federation is your voice for agriculture in Cheyenne. They're going to join us after the break with a legislative update letting us know what's going on in the state capitol. For more information on the Wyoming Farm Bureau, visit their website at wyfb.org. Alaska is the place to be Saturday, June 18th for the Harry Jam Firm and Estate Auction starting at 10 a.m. Just in time for grain harvest, an OH5 case, 2388 combine, and a 40-foot Marr grain trailer cell. Also featuring a one-owner Cat Challenger MT855 and a Flexi Coil 67XL sprayer. Service records available. This is a very well-maintained line of equipment. For a full auction list and driving directions, visit TavesPremierAuction.com. Service is the number one priority with us here at Nutrilix. We believe in giving each customer the best service possible, and we're available to visit with you about your nutritional needs. We're a small, independent company concerned with your needs. You're not just another number to us at Nutrilix. You're a valuable part of our Montana-owned and operated liquid feed business. Call us. We want you to see for yourself what good service can mean to your cattle business. 888-512-4200. Nutrilix. It's at home on your range. This is Karen Clark with the Wyoming Farm Bureau Federation with your weekly legislative update as of Friday, January 13th. The 2017 Wyoming Legislative General Session convened on Tuesday, January 10th. Governor Meade welcomed new and returning legislators during his State of the State address this week. Governor Meade stated, We are now and shall always be a proud agriculture state. The governor credited agriculture for not only putting food on the table, but also providing open spaces. Governor Meade addressed several of his initiatives, including the Water Initiative's 10 in 10 project, a proposal to build 10 reservoirs in 10 years. This year's omnibus water bill contains four of these projects, which would add over 31,000 acre feet of storage. The Big Sandy Reservoir Enlargement, the Middle Piney Reservoir, Alkali Creek Reservoir, and the Lovett Reservoir Expansion. Here's a look at a few bills the Wyoming Farm Bureau is working on as we represent our members at the legislature. House Bill 67, Determination of Agricultural Land for Taxation. This bill would add a requirement that gross income produced from agricultural land be at least one-third of total gross income. The Wyoming Farm Bureau opposes this bill. House Bill 61, Collection of Antlers and Horns is a bill that would expand game and fish statutes to include collecting shed antlers in the trespass authority of the hunting and fishing regulations. Persons collecting antlers and horns would have the responsibility of knowing the land ownership status. The Wyoming Farm Bureau supports this bill as it is important to private property rights. The Wyoming Farm Bureau is opposing two bills related to in-stream flow. Senate File 58 would allow for a temporary water right for in-stream flow. The second bill, Senate File 80, proposes to amend Wyoming's in-stream flow statutes to only require the state to hold permanent in-stream flows while allowing private entities to acquire and hold existing water rights for a temporary in-stream flow with the priority date of the in-stream flow right the same as when the existing right was acquired. Farm Bureau opposes in-stream flow and thus these two bills. Storage and watershed management, as well as irrigation, will create real in-stream flow. Agriculture serves as a sponge, soaking up the water and then releasing it at the times when it is needed most in the streams. The Wyoming Farm Bureau Legislative Meeting will be February 2nd and 3rd in Cheyenne. Farmers and ranchers from around the state will visit with legislators at a joint reception and also listen to informative speakers. Meeting topics include the Veterinary Feed Directive, the Worker Protection Standard, Grizzly Bear Delisting, and the Agriculture Transition Team for President-elect Donald Trump. With a special legislative report for the Northern Ag Network, I'm Karen Clark with the Wyoming Farm Bureau Federation.